Hello, everyone. Uh, on the last blog post I did, I talked about the five books that I would recommend the most. And I decided I'd go a little deeper with one book because it's near and dear to my heart on a project that Mo and I are working on. The book is uh, Execution, The Discipline of Getting Things Done. Here are the two authors. And let me take you through the model, through something that's happening in our home right now. As a result of the pandemic, a lot of projects that we were working on, we could not complete. Now we've had the vaccine, things have opened up. And on Thursday night, Mo's four brothers and sister are coming to visit us all for the first time in our new home. So what we wanted to do was make the home uh, as magnificent as we possibly could. So we took the execution model and I wanna take you through it and share with you how we applied it to a personal situation. One, what is the mission? The mission is to have key components of the house as up to date as possible. And we want it to be ready, a sense of pride when they visit us. So that's the first part of the template. The second part is create a drop dead deadline. Projects that have deadlines get done as long as everybody is aligned with them. So our deadline is Thursday night. Everything we're attempting to do must be done by Thursday night for our visitors to enjoy on Friday. The third is who owns the project and who are other people involved? In this case, Mo owns the product, project, the project, which means people come to Mo and Mo comes to them to make sure things are done. My job is to follow through with Mo and help her in any way I can. So let's talk about who's involved in this. One, we have a handyman team that took care yesterday of pictures that needed to be framed, my uh, grill that needed a new starter button, and they took care of a whole host of things that need to be done. They'll be back on Thursday to finish up everything. Then we have a landscaper. We've done the front yard. They're coming in to do the backyard on the 12th. So we have the landscaping taken care of. We have a cleaning crew coming in on the 12th because we want the house to be spotless. Also, we had many pictures that needed to be framed and matted. We took care of that last week, picked the pictures up on Saturday. My job is to get the groceries for this. And I've already started to buy some of the groceries for this visit. Another thing is we wanted to make sure there'd be no bugs in the house. So our exterminators came out and sprayed from the outside and were able to take care of that for us. So we had things like landscaping, repairing uh, some fixtures in the house in the bathroom, uh, hanging the tapestries, getting one more air mattress for our visitors. All these things needed to be done. So the third stage is we know the deadline, that's critical. Who's in the project? And I just shared with you some of the people that will be in the project. Now, the next one is, why is it important? Well, it's a sense of pride. We want everyone that comes here to feel like the house is in harmony, everything works, and it's a great visit. Then we have to make sure, number five, that everybody is clear on when the deadlines are, that they are committed to meeting those deadlines. And if there has to be any changes, they'll let us know. Which leads to the next, what's the budget? We figured $4,000 to $4,500 would take care of everything, including we put solar lights outside as well. The landscaping is the most important thing 
we had to take care of. So now we want to stay in budget and we want to avoid scope creep. We considered buying a sofa bed for my office and decided not to do it because it was out of scope with budget. And also we really didn't have the time to do it right. I'm just cheating a little bit looking at my notes. So what happens if milestones are missed? What's the plan B? Who are the other people that we can call on in case we have a problem? For example, we had a handyman come out, highly recommended. He smelled of alcohol on his breath. Mo paid him to leave because we didn't want him as part of the deal. So as a result, um, Juan and Allison were our plan B, and they have been absolutely fabulous. So the milestones will not be missed. What are the benefits? The benefits are we have a beautiful scenario here, and everything looks great when our company comes and beyond that as well. So the next is, how will we know it's done? We'll know it's done when we meet every one of the milestones and the action items that we're looking to do. And then finally, how do we celebrate? We celebrate by having this visit from our uh, most family, and it'll be, we hope, a memorable visit, and perhaps an annual event. So we've taken you through all the steps of the template. Most important, the mission, deadline, who's involved, making sure they're in the loop, making sure they're reporting to Mo, and making sure that everything we need, we can have by the deadline. So there's your execution template model put in place in a family situation. So any kind of execution project you have, you can actually apply this template to get it done. So thank you very much. Uh, have a wonderful day. And remember, all the work you do doesn't matter if you don't ed educate, excuse me, if you don't execute and take it to the finish. Thank you all very much. Too bad you can't join us Friday for the party with the McBride clan coming in. Have a great day.